Hello, and welcome to our online information session. My name is Tom McGuire, and I am the Program Director for the Certificate in Human Resource Management. Today, we're going to learn all about the program. We'll begin by talking about the expanding need for HR professionals in various business settings and how our certificate will prepare you for a career in HR or enable you to advance in the field. You'll also learn how you can get started taking the courses. If you have any questions during the presentation, please go ahead and send them in, and we'll do our best to answer your questions as we go through the presentation. So, let's get started. The field of HR has grown tremendously in the past decade with the growth and importance of technology as well as analytics. Meanwhile, demand for entry-level or generalist and specialist positions continues to provide many opportunities for those of you attracted to HR as a new career. If you're already working in the field, the program offers knowledge and skills to brush up on or acquire new approaches and practices. HR generalist positions support a wide variety of roles within a company, while HR specialists concentrate on functional areas such as total compensation, employment law, recruitment and placement, systems and technology, and advanced people metrics and workforce analytics. As you can see, human resource managers are strategic partners navigating the challenges of an increasingly global workforce and changing employment laws, all while utilizing data analytics to support business goals. They are a valuable asset to any successful organization. The Bureau of Labor Statistics projects a 7% growth rate for HR positions through 2024. And this is about as fast as the average for all occupations. This equates to nearly a half million positions for HR specialists and generalists, with more than 22,000 positions to open in the next five to six years. We can envision this number growing even higher as HR professionals will need to understand and handle increasingly complicated employment laws and regulations. For example, California has 21 different minimum wage levels, 14 in the Bay Area alone. HR professionals will also need to be fully knowledgeable about the ever-changing and extremely complex set of rules and regulations around health care coverage options. So how can you take advantage of this growing need? If you have a bachelor's degree, which is recommended but not required for entrance into this program, combined with our HR management certificate, you'll have the knowledge and skills to be successful. You'll gain foundational skills in HR so that you are well-versed in the nuts and bolts of being a practicing HR professional. Over the course of your studies, the program fully prepares you to lead the strategic deployment of human capital for various businesses, whether a corporation, government agency, nonprofit, startup, or small company. You will also gain the knowledge to better prepare for the PHR or SPHR exam. But keep in mind, the program does not teach specifically to these exams. Once you have earned the certificate and established yourself in the field for a year or two, you can then go on to take the exams, which are the preeminent professional designations in the field. Also, if you're already certified and need recertification credits to stay current in the field, our courses fulfill that need through our partnership with the HR Certification Institute. So how can UC Berkeley Extension help you achieve your career goals and become more competitive in this ever-competitive field? UC Berkeley Extension is the continuing education arm of the flagship campus, UC Berkeley. Since 1891, we've been assisting students in reaching their professional goals and accomplishments. We offer more than 65 professional certificates and specialized programs and more than 2,000 classroom and online courses with 45,000 enrollments per year. 
We pride ourselves on academic excellence. All of our courses and instructors, as in this certificate, are approved by the appropriate campus department. In particular, this certificate program is fully supported by the UC Berkeley Haas School of Business. Our certificates require academic advisory boards, which comprise campus faculty and industry leaders. They review the curriculum to ensure that it's up to date and in touch with emerging trends and hot topics. Our instructors, most of whom work in the field, also bring their real-world experience to the classroom. So when you enroll in a UC Berkeley Extension course, you will receive a real-world, professional, Berkeley-quality education. Now let's focus on the certificate itself. To complete the entire certificate, you'll take eight semester units of core courses, which is usually five courses. You'll also need to complete eight semester units of electives, which is around four or five courses as well. In total, you'll receive 16 semester units of hands-on practical instruction. You might be wondering, how much time will I be devoting to my studies? As a general guideline, for every hour spent in the classroom, you should expect to spend about two hours outside of class time studying. For example, if you are in a class that meets once a week for three hours, count on spending up to six hours outside of class time reading, preparing assignments, and working on projects. In total, this will be about nine hours for both class and studying time. Most students complete the certificate in about two years. If you're not working full time, it is possible to complete this certificate in a year or so. Either way, you have up to five years to complete all of the courses once you've registered for the certificate. To fulfill the core courses requirement, you'll need to complete eight semester units, which is about four or five of the following courses you'll see listed here. Essentials of Human Resources is the foundation course and introduces you to the six core areas of human resources, management practices, selection and placement, training and development, compensation and benefits, employee and labor relations, and health, safety, and security. In the Aligning Human Resource Initiatives with Business Success course, you'll learn how to develop and present initiatives that support and inform business demands, outsourcing, technology, and compliance issues. Employee Recruitment Selection and Placement gives you opportunities to develop in-depth employee selection interviewing skills through in-class practice and mock interviews. You'll learn how to find candidates, standardize the selection interviews, and how to make hiring decisions. Effective performance management gives you the tools to set goals and measure performance against those goals, how to do performance appraisals, and employee development. In total rewards, you'll learn about the range of compensation and rewards programs that address monetary and non-monetary options for employees that go beyond salary compensation and benefit offerings. Employee Relations examines the current legal and social issues that impact the employee-employer relationship, including quality of work life and organization's culture, respect, diversity and inclusion, and more. Finally, talent management and workforce development looks at the core elements of talent management and gives you the tools to develop and implement effective talent management systems within an organization. You'll also need to complete eight semester units of electives, which is usually four courses. Here are some of the electives that we offer. Electives give you the opportunity to customize your learning by taking those courses that are most relevant to you and your career. You can dive deeper into HR data and analytics, systems and technologies that HR professionals use every day, law, mediation, or organization development. You pick the electives that most interest you. You'll learn best practices, 
techniques, and strategies from our HR instructors who bring years of real-world experience to the classroom. Again, these instructors are approved by the UC Berkeley Haas School of Business. Our instructors are skilled experts deeply vested in your success. They are passionate about sharing their knowledge with you and helping you achieve your professional and career goals. Our instructors bring to the classroom concepts that illuminate the topics as well as real-world examples from their job and consultancy experience. Under your instructor's guidance, you'll work through examples and gain first-hand knowledge through case-based scenarios and interactive projects. I'd like to take this opportunity to highlight a couple of our stellar instructors. Heather Whiteman, who holds a PhD, is head of People Strategy, Analytics, and Operations for General Electric Digital. Her work focuses on identifying and defining key talent measures and utilizing advanced workforce analytic techniques to drive business insights and decision making to help organizations build a business case for employees who are then empowered to create even greater business value. Another one of our great instructors is Monica Doshi Becker, who holds the BA and the SPHR designation, the Senior Professional in Human Resources. She has 15 plus years of experience in human resources as both a consultant and in-house professional. Much of her focus is on contributing an HR perspective to develop and achieve her clients' business goals. Her areas of specialty and interest include employee relations, policy development, strategic planning, compliance, and compensation. We offer courses both in the classroom and online. If you take a classroom-based course, you'll be learning in our downtown Berkeley Center, which is just a couple of blocks away from campus, or you can take a class at our San Francisco campus in the Financial District. Both locations are easy to get to using public transportation, so you don't have to leave work early to get to class. If weekends work better for you, we offer that option as well, often in an accelerated format so that you can complete a course in five weeks. If weeknights work better for your schedule, those courses generally run once a night over a period of five to ten weeks. If you want to take a course online, you'll take a fixed date class, which has a set start and end date, in the same way as you would take a classroom course. Fixed date online courses usually run about three months. Your learning materials are always accessible in the online environment. Group discussions, forum posts, and instructor-posed questions provide rich opportunities to interact with your fellow classmates. You'll learn by reading materials, watching videos, and listening to industry-relevant podcasts. You submit your homework assignments and research projects electronically. Your instructor will provide feedback and grading as you progress through the course. Earning the HR certificate is a simple three-step process. First, you register for the certificate. We recommend that you do this before starting your second course in the program. Check out the requirements on our website and then complete all of the required courses with a grade of C or better within the five-year time period. Probably one of the biggest benefits is that you're able to pay as you go. You don't pay for the entire certificate at once. You pay for each course one at a time. Prices vary based on each course and the total cost for the certificate is approximately $8,000. Finally, once you've completed all of your courses, you'll receive your certificate. Many of you might be wondering, so what do your graduates go on to do? Well, we're always super proud of our students' success. Many of our instructors share stories of former students who have landed positions or who have advanced in their HR careers. Here are a couple of our recent graduates and their current positions. Yvonne Ayala received a master's degree in human resources management in Spain. 
When she moved back to the U.S., Yvonne wanted to work in a generalist HR role, and she needed more practical skills-based learning. So she took our HR certificate. Since completing the certificate, she's been promoted to an HR manager role at EO Products, a certified B corporation that produces organic body care products. Her day-to-day responsibilities include onboarding, recruiting, HRIS management, business and benefits administration, employee relations, training, workers' comp, and developing a performance management system. Another one of our student heroes, as we refer to these uh, successful graduates, is Michelle Davis. She changed her career from sales to HR by learning the ins and outs of the field through taking our certificate. One of her favorite instructors is June Crusat, who teaches the Systems and Technology elective online. Michelle says of June that he facilitated the class discussions in such a way that it was impossible to feel disengaged with the course. He personally FaceTimed each student to hear about their interests, goals, and aspirations in relation to the course and HR in general. Since completing the certificate, Michelle is working as an HR operations coordinator at Guidewire Software, where she can become more employee-facing. You can read more about these two and many of our other human resource management graduates on our Voices blog on the website. So, how do you get started? If you're new to Extension, you'll need to create a free student account through our website. You'll use this account to enroll and pay for your courses, find out about your grades, and track your progress through the program. Then, simply enroll in your first course. This could be a core course or an elective. I suggest visiting a course page and finding a section that fits your schedule. I also suggest filling out our newsletter sign-up form. You'll receive monthly emails about upcoming courses and new blog posts. Thank you for submitting your questions, many of which we've been able to answer during the presentation. Now, here are some more that have come in. Should I complete the certificate before I take either the PHR or SPHR exam? Absolutely, yes. For most of you, it probably isn't possible to take either of these exams unless you have completed some coursework and or you have some industry experience under your belt. I do want to stress that this certificate program does not teach to the exams, but the knowledge and skills acquired will help you prepare once you're ready. Please be sure to visit the Northern California Human Resources Association or one of the websites to learn more about the exams. Please note that we do not offer the exams or a prep course. Can I transfer credit from another college or university? Yes, you may but please read over our transfer, substitution, and waiver requirements on our certificate webpage. We are willing to work with you if you have completed equivalent coursework at an accredited institution within the past five years and have earned a grade of B or better. There are limits on how many courses we can accept, so please be sure to call or email the program office for information. Here's a question that's come in just now. Is UC Berkeley Extension academic credit transferable to other institutions? This is not such an easy question. It depends on the receiving institution. If you're planning on taking our professional level courses and you wish to apply them to another institution, I encourage you to talk about your plans with an admission counselor at the institution that you are planning to apply at. When do I find out about and enroll in courses in future terms? Bookmark our website and you'll find the most up-to-date information about when courses begin, what's currently being offered, and what we plan for in the future. We generally have terms that start in June, September, and January. Here's an important question that just has come in. What is the difference between classroom and online? Are there benefits to doing one over the other? Well, in either format, you'll be exposed to the same content 
and you'll work towards identical learning outcomes. So from a pedagogic perspective, there is really no difference between the classroom and online. The benefits of taking an online class are convenience, flexibility, and cost and time savings in terms of traveling and parking and things of that nature. Another question related to that is how quickly can I finish an online course? For fixed date courses, such as the ones you'll find in this program, you have a specific start and end date. You complete homework assignments within the specific dates posted in the course section's information and as set by your instructor in the course syllabus. Well, that's all the time we have today to take your questions. But if you have any additional questions or concerns that I was not able to address or answer here today, please note my contact information. I would love to hear from you and discuss how the HR certificate or individual courses within the program can help you become a qualified and knowledgeable HR professional. Thank you again for taking the time to learn about our certificate and course offerings in the Human Resource Management Certificate Program. I look forward to seeing you in one of our classrooms or online.